my name is Hadil Zainal, a student nurse from Davao Doctors College. And today, I'm going to perform my return demonstration of taking vital signs. Vital signs are an important component of monitoring the adult's or child's patient progress during his or her hospitalization. Also, vital signs are measured to obtain basic indicators of a patient health status. So before doing the assessment, first you need to check the client's medical record if around and also prepare the necessary equipment. And the equipment are thermometer to check the patient body temperature, stethoscope, this is to listening the sounds produced by the body, sphygmo manometer, this is to check the blood pressure of the patient, the cotton balls to clean the air, air, air piece, diaphragm, and the bell of the stethoscope, also the um, stem and the thermometer, sterile gloves to protect ourselves from any microorganism coming from the patient, alcohol to sanitize our hand, and of course, we swatch. So prior to perform the assessment, first we need to introduce ourselves to the client, verify the client's um, identity using the two identifiers, explain the procedure to the client and how he or she can participate during the assessment and provide the client's privacy and confidentiality. Also apply glove if necessary. And always remember to perform hand washing. Good morning, Ma. My name is Adil Zainal, your student nurse for today. May I know your name? My name is Heria Cabuyo. All right. Your age, please? I'm 19 years old. Okay. So, what do you want me to call you? Um, just call me Heria. All right. So, Miss Heria, today I'm going to take your vital signs, your body temperature, your blood pressure, your respiratory rate, and as well as your pulse rate. So, the purpose of this is to monitor your condition. Do you have any question or clarification before we proceed to our assessment? No, ma'am. Alright, so as you can see, I closed all the curtains to protect and provide your privacy and confidentiality. Do you feel comfortable right now? Yes, ma'am. Alright, so now let's proceed to our assessment. Remove the thermometer and discard the cover. Wipes the tip of the thermometer using the alcohol swab from the stamp to probe in a firm twisting motion. Now, place the tip of the thermometer on um, either the side of the frenulum of the patient and ask the patient to hold it with her lip closed. Mom, can you open your mouth for me? Okay, I will put thermometer. Can you close your mouth? Right. So, and don't forget to turn on the thermometer.
can you open your mouth? All right. Now remove the thermometer and um um wipe it with the alcohol swab in a firm twisting motion. Okay, ma'am, you have 36.7 degrees Celsius, which is in normal range. And now, um, wash the thermometer if necessary and return it to the storage. And document the temperature in the client's monitoring sheet. Good morning, ma'am. My name is Adil Zaino. Your student turns for today. May I know your name? My name is Maria Cabuyo. All right. Your age, please. I'm 19 years old. Okay. So, what do you want me to call you? Um, just call me Maria. All right. So, Miss Maria, today I'm going to take your vital signs, your body temperature, your blood pressure, your respiratory rate, and as well as your pulse rate. So, the purpose of this is to monitor your condition. Do you have any question or clarification before we proceed to our assessment? No, ma'am. Alright, so as you can see, I closed all the curtains to protect and provide your privacy and confidentiality. Do you feel comfortable right now? Yes, ma'am. Alright, so now let's proceed to our assessment. So now let's proceed to the accelerator method. Moves the gown of the patient away from arm and shoulder. Raise the arm away from the torso and inspect for any lesion and um, perspiration. So now, remove the thermometer inside, discard it, wipes it with a alcohol swab in, from the stem to probe in a firm twisting motion. Now, pats the axillaria if um, moist, and place the tip of the thermometer inside the center of the axilla and ask the client to lay the arm over the tip and across his chest and don't forget to on the thermometer Waits for the appropriate amount of time after placement. Electronic, electronic thermometer will indicate that the reading is complete through the light or tone. Remove the thermometer and tell the client. Remove the thermometer and tell the client um his or her temperature. So, ma'am, you have thirty six point five degrees Celsius, which is in normal range. Now, wipes the um tip of the thermometer with an alcohol swab from the stem to probe. In a firm twisting motion. 
Um, now, store it and document the temperature in the client's monitoring sheet. assessment first we need to introduce ourselves to the client verify the client's um, identity using the two identifiers explain the procedure to the client and how he or she can participate during the assessment and provide the clients privacy and confidentiality also apply glove if necessary and always remember to perform hand washing Good morning, ma'am. My name is Adil Zainal, your student nurse for today. May I know your name? My name is Maria Cabuyo. All right. Your age, please? I'm 19 years old. Okay. So, what do you want me to call you? Um, just call me Maria. All right. So, Miss Maria, today I'm going to take your vital signs, your body temperature, your blood pressure, your respiratory rate, and as well as your pulse rate. So, the purpose of this is to monitor your condition. Do you have any question or clarification before we proceed to our assessment? No, ma'am. Alright, so as you can see, I closed all the curtains to protect and provide your privacy and confidentiality. Do you feel comfortable right now? Yes, ma'am. Alright. So now let's proceed to assessing the peripheral pulse. Assist the client to a comfortable resting position. And for the client who can sit, bend the client's elbow to a 90 degrees angle and support the lower arm on the chair's armrest. Extend and flex the wrist with the palm of the hand facing down or inward. And to palpate and to count the pulse, place the two first two or three fingers over the groove of the thumb side of the client's inner wrist. And count for 30 seconds and multiply straight by two if the pulse is regular and counts a full minute if the pulse is irregular okay so your pulse rate is 75 beats per minute and it is in norm normal range. And now, document the pulse rate, rhythm, and the volume in the client's medical record.
Good morning, ma'am. My name is Adil Zaino, your student learns for today. May I know your name? My name is Maria Cabuyo. All right. Your age, please? I'm 19 years old. Okay. So, what do you want me to call you? Um, just call me Maria. All right. So, Miss Maria, today I'm going to take your vital signs, your body temperature, your blood pressure, your respiratory rate, and as well as your pulse rate. So, the purpose of this is to monitor your condition. Do you have any question or clarification before we proceed to our assessment? No, ma'am. Alright, so as you can see, I've closed all the curtains to protect and provide your privacy and confidentiality. Do you feel comfortable right now? Yes, ma'am. Alright. So, now let's proceed to the respiratory rate. Observe a complete respiratory cycle, palpates or counts the respiratory rate. Put the arm of the client to the under the chest and counts the respiratory rate for 30 seconds if the respiration are regular and counts for 60 seconds if they are irregular. Observe the deep rhythm and character of the respiration by watching the movement of the chest. So your um, respiratory rate is 16 beats per minute, where is an in our normal range. And document the temperature in the client's monitoring sheet. First, we need to introduce ourselves to the client, verify the client's um, identity using the two identifiers, explain the procedure to the client and how he or she can participate during the assessment, and provide the client's privacy and confidentiality. Also, apply glove if necessary. And always remember to perform hand washing. Good morning, ma'am. My name is Adil Zaino. Your student learns for today. May I know your name? My name is Maria Cabuyo. All right. Your age, please? I'm 19 years old. Okay. So, what do you want me to call you? Um, just call me Maria. All right. So, Miss Maria, today I'm going to take your vital signs, your body temperature, your blood pressure, your respiratory rate, and as well as your pulse rate. So, the purpose of this is to monitor your condition. Do you have any question or clarification before we proceed to our assessment? No, ma'am. Alright, so as you can see, I've closed all the curtains to protect and provide your privacy and confidentiality. Do you feel comfortable right now? Yes, ma'am. Alright. So now, let's proceed to blood pressure taking. Ensures that the equipment is intact and functioning properly. Check for cough size and leaks in the tubing between the cough and the sphygmo manometer. Make sure that the client has not smoked or ingested caffeine within 30 minutes prior to measure to better measurement. Okay, do you um, smoke? 
Do you drink coffee? All right. So, position the clients appropriately and for the adult should be um, sitting. Both feet should be flat on the floor and the elbows should be slightly flexed with the palm to the hand facing and the arms supported the heart level. And also rough the deflated cuff evenly around the upper arm, locates the brachial artery and applies the bladder directly over the artery. Now palpate the brachial artery with the fingers. Okay, I found her brachial artery. And now I will pump the cuff un until I no longer feel the brachial artery. All right, so the um, the estimated systolic pressure of my patient is 150 um, millimeter of mercury. Now, um, position the stethoscope appropriately. And now, cleanse the herpes with the antiseptic wipes or alcohol swab. Insert the ear attachment of the stethoscope in your ear so that they will tilt slightly forward and ensure that the stethoscope hang free freely from the ears to the diaphragm now place the bell of side of the amplifier to the stethoscope over the brachial pulse side now place the stethoscope directly in the skin not on the cloth over the side Hold the diaphragm and the thumb with the two index finger and now auscultate the client's blood pressure. So um, the uh, you have um, 140 millimeter of mercury, and now I will repeat to the other side of your arm. So, um, your blood pressure in your left hand is um, 170 millimeter of mercury. And now, remove the cuff from the client arm and wipe the cuff with the um, antiseptic wipes or um, the alcohol. and document all the client assessment data.